everybody. Today I'm going to be making my mom's bread recipe that she showed you yesterday. My this I welcome you to my cooking show. It is called Cooking with JD Smile. Here I have two tables two tablespoons of salt and six cup cups of flour. I'm going to be mixing the salt in the six cups of flour. Now, is that actually my recipe you're doing, or...? Well, I think it is. It's either yours or Grandma's. But are you doing it just like I do, or...? I'm gonna be... I'm gonna, like, have a little snack to it. I'm hoping we could make diapers or calzones with it. And two loaves of bread. What are you doing there? I'm mixing up the flour and salt. Oops, spilled a little. Me well, I remember you teaching me this, that if you don't get it all mixed up good, it's not your bread won't taste good. So I'm going to try to mix it up real good. I'm going to wash my hands again. <laughs> I've got to be careful mixing it. But i got to mix this up. And don't spill it if you're doing it. <laughs> I'm not going to spill it again, but, okay, okay, I got that mixed up, and we used up all our salt, so, and over there, and now we come over here to our, we have two cups of, three cups of water here, we got instant powdered milk, the other day, or yesterday when my mom did it, she used real milk, I'm using powdered. We got two tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons, two tablespoons of oil, three tablespoons of butter, and two tablespoons of yeast. First, we are going to add our instant milk. And I'm going to turn the burner on. Uh, I forgot what temperature to put it on. Oh, now I remember. We're going to put it to 6 on the high side. If you, even, if you have a high side, you don't need one. And I'm going to get my little whisk over here and pour in the instant milk and stir it up a little bit. And the three cups of water and the instant milk, you mix it together to get milk, that's why it's called instant milk. Then I'm going to add my two tablespoons of sugar, mix it up real good. Why do you have a thermometer over there? Well, uh, when we, once we get all our ingredients in, we're going to put it in here and we want it to get up to, oh, like you said yesterday, about 90 degrees. No. Well, no, not 90. About 100 degrees. 110. <laughs> 110. 115, yeah. 110, somewhere around there. We're going to add our oil, veggie oil. You can use any oil, but I prefer your veggie. Do you add that before it gets warm? Oh, no. That's okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I think I messed up. I'm sure it'll work. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Even Coco's laughing. There's Coco at our window again. Always wanting attention. Okay. Do we add our butter now? Okay. No, we don't. We keep stowing. So you'll be back as soon as you reach your temperature? I'll be back. Mom, can you help me stir this? Thank you. We're going to look at what temperature we have. It is at 80 and it's going up. Do Don't touch the bottom of the pan with it. If Just you, set it in the middle of the milk. Okay. If you can see that, it's going over 100 by a tiny bit. It's about... 138 degrees right now. 138? 
trying to scare me. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not at 138 yet, honey. You just... You okay. are... Everybody in the camera sees the thermometer. Little people in the camera, that's weird. Around 110, moving to 120. Oh, you definitely heated it up. You're at 120. Okay, that is plenty. Turn your heat off, please. Watch the burner. Stir, stir that. You can put your butter in now. Okay. Put in our How little. much butter do you have there? Look at the time, guys. We, it's 11.11. We put in three tablespoons of butter. That wasn't hot. But um, if you, if it's whole, it doesn't have to be softened, but you can have it softened. If it's hard for you to figure out, it uh, it shows on your butter apple on the side of it. That's how we got it. <laughs> We're going to stir it up, try to get that butter to melt. You can come back when the butter is melted. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay. Oh. The milk is at the temp I want, and now I'm going to add my yeast. Ooh, I'm going to add all of it, and then I'm going to stir it up, just a little bit. Looks like the yeast is waking up. Okay, shall we come back after that sets? It has to set, right? Well, this has to set for a few minutes, and we'll be back. How will you know it's ready? Well, like you showed in the video, these will be, it'll be bubbling a little bit. There'll be bubbles across it, because that woke it up. So it starts foaming. And it starts foaming. Now, um, the sugar is what keeps your yeast alive. You don't want to add salt to that yeast, or your bread won't raise, and it won't turn out really good. Now we're going to let this sit and we'll be back. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put my dough hook on. Okay, and I'm going to pour my milk mixture into the bottom of my bowl. done without, sp without spilling it. Good job. Thank you. And I am going to add one spoon. I'm going to when I, I'm going to add one spoon of this flour and salt and I'm going to pour it from up here without spilling. And I'm going to put it on number two. And then just keep adding your flour. And keep adding my flour. One spoon at a time. One spoon at a time. And try not to get hit. Maybe not so full a spoon, huh? Okay. Just a little bit at a time. Yeah. You know, you can turn your mixer off yeah. and add a spoon each time and then turn it on. Yeah. Kind of go on and off, maybe. Not quiet. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Don't you have to raise that up? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? <laughs> 
all the way. I thought I had There you go. It. Okay. It might be easier to add your flour now. Yeah. Like you said, a little bit at a time. Not so much. I'm kind of on and off. Now you might be able to leave it on while you're adding your flour. Okay. I was just trying to give you hints. Notice this is my first time making bread. <laughs> and when you have your dough and it's mixing up your dough, you want to be careful when you add flour because the flour will shoot up. We've experienced that many times. So you want to be careful when you're adding your flour when the dough is kneading in there. Get it off the sides. Yet. Do you want to keep adding and then we'll come back? Yes, we'll be back. Okay, I almost got all my flour as you can see in there. And I learned a little trick while we were on break. You go up here, you touch the bowl, and you come down. And that way you won't get hit or you won't spill flour. So I touch the bowl and put it out like that. And you keep that up until all your flour is gone. And you want to be careful. Which, and you want to scrape your scrape the sides in the pan because the dough can stick, but not yet. Finish putting all your flour in there. I cheated. <laughs> Set that aside and we'll let that mix for a little bit. I'll be right back. so it lets go of the bottom. Now, when this gets mixed, mixed up all the way, we'll be back. How's it coming along, sis? It's coming good. It's finally doing what I want it to do. It's not sticking to the pan, because that little flour we added earlier. Now all I need to do is set the timer for seven minutes and let it knead. We'll be back. First, honey. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. And I am going to take the dough out of my bowl and oil my pan. Undo your dough hook. Lift up. And I will put so it. Turn in. the other way. Lift up and turn. And I will put put it in the microwave to what? To rise. I'm excited to see what I can do with my mom's bread to show you. Once it has risen, I'll be back. Okay. We are going to take out our dough, if you can see that. Now, it is a little bit sticky, but you want it a little, just a little bit sticky. On the counter. There you go. You don't want to waste this dough. It makes you have that work. white paddle over there beside you. Yeah. And scrape out my bread bowl. Okay. 
Do you need some help there? Yes, please. This is a little tricky. Now watch and learn. Okay. Okay, we're just going to loosen it. See that? Okay. Okay. Now, if you take a ball of dough, you can pick up all the dough inside your bowl. Just pick it up with a piece of dough. Okay. Okay? Okay. Boy, I'm glad you're making this today, because my yes. thumb is not yeah. happy today. Did too much yesterday. Yeah. Okay. You can... Now what are you going to do? I'm going to take this oil, I'm going to dump it in my pan, and I'm going to oil my pan. I'll rub it around. How much oil? Well, we didn't measure. We just saw what looks perfect. I wipe it around the bowl, all over. And I'm going to do what my mom does, rub it on my hand, because I also like soft hands. And this bread, you know how they say it's soft as a baby's butt? Well, it really is. You can see it's very soft, and it feels really good on your hands. And I'm going to put the dough back in our bread pan, put saran wrap... Flip it over. And well, i got to flip it over, too. Put saran wrap over it, or, as you know, plastic wrap. Let it and let it rise in the microwave. We'll be back. Okay, our bread has risen, and I got the, the ingredients wet. Boy, I got something to show you. I'm going to cut this dough into thorns. Would it be easier for you with this one? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's one, two. Press down. There you go. And three. And so what is each one? Each one is one loaf of bread. In fractions, what is each one? One third in fractions. Each one is one third. Okay, we got it cut into thirds. Now you're going to work with one at a time. So one at a time. take two and fold them. We'll Just fold them. Okay. Set them on your plastic over here. There you go. Now you're going to mash your... You're going to bring that over where you can work with it. Okay. And you're going to make a rectangle. Make a rectangle. Okay, so we got the shape started. Uh, you're going to want to make a rectangle for this. Now, not a circle, not a square. Well, rectangle or square. But you want to get a rectangle like this. Maybe a little bit bigger. You, you wanna... know, I, I know a way that would probably be easier for you if you'd let me help for a second. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to have you do is how many little loaves are you going to make? Six, eight and eight is 16. No, how many are you going to make yeah. on that pen? Eight. Eight. Let's make eight. Oh, my poor thumb this morning. Oh, I see. What eight you little mean, balls. I like okay. tortillas. Like you did your tortilla, like David did his tortillas? Yeah. Okay, you want each one about the same size, see that? Okay. So you're going to take them like this. Like when you're making cookies, you want them all the same size. Exactly. Now we'll get these and then we'll be back. Okay. You have your balls of dough. You want to flour your hand so it doesn't stick too bad and flour your workspace. You take your ball of dough and you roll it out with your hands. You can use rolling pin, but I prefer my hands. And this dough, 
will be a little bit stretchy depending on how you do it. And this one is a little bit stretchy. So you want to get it just stretched enough to put in your mixture. You know, what I could do is I could help you stretch. Okay. And then you could do your mixture, okay? Because you sure did make good rising bread. Yeah. I gotta hand it to you. This is gonna be fluffy bread. Yeah. So you want this actually big enough for your cheese, right? Why? Okay, what are you gonna put in this first? Okay, first you put in, what I have here is American cheese and pebble jack. Pebble jack is pretty good in these. So first you put in one slice of your cheese. You see, I broke it in half. You put at the bottom one slice of cheese. Then you put in your mixture. It could be any kind. We did for breakfast eggs, spam, bell pepper, and onions. What you do? A lot of, you can put any kind of meat you want. Yeah, any kind. We're poor people, and we do eat spam. It tastes good, huh? Okay. okay. After you got your cheese, you want to put it in. Now try not to get it on the edges like that onion. And you want to get some egg in there if you're doing the kind we did. So you want to get, try to get it in the center. Then cheese. you put in another slice of cheese. This time I'm going to use pepper jack. Then you take one end and you light, lightly press it down and very carefully fold it over. And then you pinch it over here and pinch it on the other side. Then on the other side, you want to fold it over again, but be careful, you don't want to tear your dough, so stretch it uh, gently. Then you take this end, you fold it up a lot farther, and we hold it down, you fold it up a lot farther, just to get it enough to where it's sealed, and you pinch that. Then on the other end, you come up and fold it again. So basically you're trying to keep all your ingredients in? Exactly. Okay. And then you have... I see you have a hole on that one. Oh no. Then... I think it'll be okay when it rises, yeah. ma'am. Then you have a little pocket with your stuff. With your ingredients. So what do you call these then? I call these pillows. Pillows. I call them pillows, but the real name is a calzone. And you used to call them? I used to call them diapers, because you can put any stuff you want in them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then you put them seam side down That means in your little loaf pan. And that and seam side down means the side that you pinch goes down to the bottom. Okay, now I'll, I'll press for you, okay? Okay. I'll get it stretched for you, because my hands are a little bigger. Right? Yeah, and a little stronger. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, girl. <laughs> yeah. But teamwork seems to always work better, I think. I don't know. What do you think? I think it does look a lot better. And again, with the cheese. Okay. Right in the center. Then, again, with your eggs and mixture. Any mixture you want. Get it in the center. Try not to get it on the edges, just like I said the first Do you want to put just a tiny bit more in this yeah. one? Yeah. Let's get some more eggs in that. Just a little not bit. Not too much. There you go. There. You don't want to get too much. I did. I sampled it. <laughs> okay. Is now, it good? Do we need another cheese? Boy, that is good. Yeah. I forgot about that. We need another pepper jack cheese, or like I said, any cheese before. Okay, now what do you do? Go ahead. You take one end, be careful, you don't want to tear it. You, you hold that down, you stretch it over here, and you pinch without using nails. Did I mention that? Okay. And then don't want to cut it. Then you bring the other end up, oh so gently. Okay. And you fold it in and pinch it. And the same with the other sides, but this one you want a lot farther up, so we make sure that is stuffed in. And the other side, the same thing. And you pinch over here. Okay. 
And then you put it seam down. Seam down in your in your pan. Now we're gonna finish these up. We have four more. So you want to get your pan filled, and then we'll be back. We'll be back. Okay, our pillows have risen. We are putting them in the oven for for twenty minutes and 400 degrees. We'll check them then. We'll check them when... If we'll, we have to add five minutes, we will. Yeah. Well, we'll... I'll be back. Okay. All pillows are done baking. They smell and look very good. Right now, I'm just buttering them down. So we'll be back when we sample them? We'll be back when we sample them. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. So. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of feedback. These um, are all calzones. They are done. And they are hot. Calzones? Well, pillows. These are all pillows. Here, Don't touch them, honey. Don't touch them, people. Look who decided to join the party. Yeah. I know you're asking yourself, how do they do it? Well, they're genius. Food makers. Obi? Yeah. Grandma can cut one mm. so they can see the inside. Hey, Grandma. What? Let's chop one open so they can see the inside. All right, I'm going to chop one open. This is a high quality meal. Ooh, and it's hot. I need that. Would you like me to do it, Grandma? No, thank you, darling. I make it. Just trying to help. Oh, you're a good help. You are the best. Ouch. Ooh, Ooh that looks good. Oh. Eggs and cheese and... Mm, what is it? Spam or ham? Spam. Spam. Jalapenos. Jalapenos. Bell pepper and onion. Bell peppers, onions. The entire garden with chickens and homemade bread. Don't get no better than that. Can I eat it now? I don't know. I think I have to be first. <laughs> All right. Our, uh, so here time we eat. here we go. It's time to eat. Wish you was here, don't you? <laughs> Be careful how much you're moving the cameras. Buttery, buttery, steamy, hot bread. My Homemade. finger don't taste good though. It's tasty. It's cheesy. Take a bite already. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, our time's running out. Crunch. Ooh, it's, it's I, so I, good. I, I can't, it's too hot. Mmm, mmm, good. You want stuff, it's good. No, I got mine. So did JD do good? She did JD, you awesome. did a fantastic job, girl. Let's see the insides of yours. I can't, well, I can't. That's can. my treasure One box. One more thing we can do with our bread recipe. What? JD, what do you tell everybody on YouTube? Well, these are our homemade pillows, and thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs up if you like it, and please subscribe to my mom, even though you probably already have. And you we'll can be on it more. We'll be on it more. You can take the recipe, not take it, but you can use it. You're gonna be doing more videos, sissy. I'll be do. I'll be doing more videos. These are good. We'll see you later. We'll see you later.